Okay, go! Three, two, one, action! Hi, and welcome to Cooking with Pinky! Wait, wait, I hate to interrupt. I have an urgent phone call, Pinky. It's Gummy! About Gummy, get it! Hello? Uh, hi, this is Sonata. Don't use your name! Uh, please hold. Uh, who am I? Just say you're Belinda. Sorry about that. This is Belinda in the parking lot. You're at the Alligator Reserve. Oh, she's totally right. We are at the Alligator Reserve. Someone, like, found your pet alligator under a blanket, and you need to come pick him up. Eee! I'm on the way, Gummy! What? Photo finish do now! Show must go on! Oh, I think we can be of assistance. Yeah, for sure. I'm like an expert taco chef. Hey, did we talk on the phone earlier? Sonata, give me that. Never mind her. She doesn't even know how to operate a phone. Hey, it's Photo Finish and the Snapshots. I am not that familiar with Photo Finish's groupies, but they do have really awesome names, Violet Blur and Pixel Pizzazz. This set is exclusive to Toys R Us and is part of the Pony Mania line. The website indicates the set retails for about 40 bucks, but I'm about 93.25% sure that I got it for a whole lot less around Christmas. I am a huge fan of Photo Finish and her blunt and straightforward personality, so it's really awesome to see her released as an Equestria Girl. These figures are a bit more detailed than your basic singles, but they do have some plastic clothing and they're not very poseable. And for 40 bucks, they really should be fully articulated. But that being said, they're still a fun little group to acquire because primarily it comes with photo finish. The other two are nice, but I just don't feel any attachment. I guess it's because they're such unfamiliar characters. The only thing I really remember these two doing in Rainbow Rocks was attacking Rarity with magnets. Alrighty, let's take a look at these guys outside the box. As always, Bog's hair was a nightmare, but they cleaned up really nicely. Violet Blur has the exact same color scheme as a G2 pony named Ivy. She's wearing a flower headband, which makes me think that her cutie mark is a flower as well, but I'm really not sure. She has a set of side bangs and then pink and lavender hair. She's wearing an outfit that's kind of bleh. I know absolutely nothing about fashion, but I'm just really not a fan. I hope that you guys like it better. In summary, plastic shirt, short skirt, wristband, and spiky shoes. I absolutely thought Pixel Pizzazz was Bon Bon going cray cray when I first saw this set. But nope, Bon Bon's gonna get a separate release and Pixel Pizzazz is gonna wear a headband with eyeballs on it. Pixel Pizzazz has purple and blue hair that is styled in pigtails with bangs. And then I have absolutely no idea what's going on with her outfit. It's kind of like a penguin crossed with a maid, crossed with a china doll, and they're all going to a funeral? I don't know, I hope you like it. For me, Photo Finish is definitely the star attraction of this set, but I'm really confused as to why she has Twilight Sparkle's cutie mark. The only thing I can think of is maybe they thought they'd be hidden by her super awesome glasses, or maybe they just thought that nothing actually sells unless Twilight Sparkle is included because there's not already a bazillion Twilight Sparkles out there. Anyway, Photo Finish's outfit actually matches that of her pony counterpart, and even the plastic bits work to her advantage. You can definitely tell the most work went into designing Photo Finish, as it should have since she is the most recognizable character. Anyway, that is it for Photo Finish and the Snapshots. If you enjoyed this review and want to see more, please click subscribe. You can also follow me on social media for behind the scenes, pictures, previews, and other junk. You guys have a good one!
Oh my wow, you guys. I am like so good at talking on the phone. If this whole cooking show scam thing doesn't work out, I should totally be an operator. Hey, if you all are still watching, put Operator Sonata in the comments. Okay, bye. She has no clue how awful that performance was. No, she's completely clueless.